Here at McCody Overhead Doors and Dock Systems, we provide service sales, installation, and free local estimates for all of your overhead door and dock needs. From residential to commercial, we're there every step of the way. This is the pansies that I give her that happen to be on the wrong day at the wrong time. So I'm hoping to sweep her off her feet by doing something surprising. Then this is the next set. <laughs> Then when I've managed to screw up all three of those, I end up giving her this little teddy bear. <laughs> now I'm all nervous because I'm on stage. <laughs> like nothing until I'm on stage. You were born to be here. I know, right? Good afternoon, Willison, and welcome to the Old Armory, which is turning 100 years old this year. No small detail there. And uh, we're here with Entertainment Inc., which for decades has been a force for entertainment and community theater here in Williston. I'm joined by a director of the latest piece that's coming out next week, which is Sex, Please, We're 60. This is J.C. Labar. And also April, I did not catch your last name? Keith. Okay, and you are starring in... Well, I'm one of the many stars. One of the many stars <laughs> in Sex, Please, We're 60, which uh, runs Thursday through, what, what are the, the run dates for that? Thursday through Monday, the 11th through the 15th. The 11th through the 15th. Oh, right, well, JC, this, uh, tell me about why, uh, why is Entertainment Inc. doing this play? And This play was really intended to get um, Entertainment Inc. veterans, like this one, out of the shadows, because they don't do enough shows, and to get them on the stage together to do a, a great comedy piece and uh, it's honestly one of the greatest casts I've ever worked with. They're very hard working, dedicated and um, amazing honestly they're, and they're hilarious. It's just, I, can't, I honestly can't say enough about them. It's, I mean, they really have taken this show, which I think is good on paper, to a whole new level, honestly. Okay. And April. Would you not agree? Thank you. Oh, thank you. That was great. <laughs> yeah. So April, introduce yourself uh, as your character. Mm -hmm. I am Victoria Ambrose. I am a writer. I'm struggling to complete my latest one, and I am coming back to the Rose Cottage to get some insight, some peace and quiet, so that I can finish my latest novel, and meeting some very interesting characters along the way that help me complete the next novel. Okay. And she finds a way to come out of her Yes. Oh, she's a bit of a prude. Uh, yeah. And then she. Well, from the writing to the more fun loving, flirty. I got you. She's a romance novelist who doesn't have much of it in her life, but no. she finds it I at see. Rose Cottage. Yes. I see. <laughs> so, April, when you first read the script, was it, was it laugh out loud funny? How did you react to it at first? Don't my honest answer? Yes. yes. I didn't read it. JC called me and said, You need to come to practice. It's tonight at 7. <laughs> that is ridiculously close, but not exactly true. <laughs> so, JC, have you directed a comedy before? Or has Entertainment Inc. done a lot of these types of like farcical comedies? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. I this the the last show I directed, which was Blythe Spirit, was a comedy, but it's a comedy from what forties, and yeah, she was in it, and um, that's why I'm looking to her, and uh, it, its comedy was different than any comedy you're used to. So it's not like this. It's not slapstick comedy, but it was. So it was a little more sophisticated and uh, probably a little more difficult to to get out to communicate. But but yeah. So I, was, I mean, and I've done several comedies as an actor, mm -hmm. and that's really the most enjoyable place to be, I think. And they say I, comedy is the hardest acting there is in many ways. I mean, have you found that? I mean, is, is it hard to be? Is it harder to be funny than just to perform in a drama or a musical? I think it's hard. To, let, to understand the character and how you want to portray the character. But once you get the character's idea or the director's idea of what the character is to be and the blocking, then you can add your own spice to the character. And then that's where it gets funny. Mm -hmm. And comedic timing is such, such a unique thing. Um, you can do a drama and you can, you can just, if you're, as long as you're natural and we're doing what we're doing here right now, it can be believable and it, lens to the story, but comedic timing is completely unique and different, and not everybody has it. Mm -hmm. 
So I mean, it's it's just that right amount of pause to give the audience time to laugh. It's just right enough. I mean, between a line, just enough to just adds that extra punch to that line to make it even that much funnier. And uh, and these guys, you can tell that's one of the things you can tell they're so seasoned because they're so good at that. Yeah, I think. And you don't necessarily need the lines. It's just maybe the look or the stature of the person or the quick movement that will crack up the audience, and that's what we're after. Mm -hmm. And so you have, I mean, it's a sex-based comedy. You got a lot of Viagra-themed jokes there. Is this appropriate for all ages? No, I mean, just because there's, I mean, just the title alone, and, the, and the, this is actually very clean. And so I would say anybody who's concerned because it's sex, please, and the, the, top, the subject matter, don't worry. This is like network television stuff. This is very clean, very well put together. But as we know, for some people, there's certain network stuff that is not appropriate for young audiences. I wouldn't say because of the topics that this is appropriate for young audiences. Probably, what, 15 and older? 16 and older? I mean, that's up to the parents to decide. But I mean, it's, it's very tastefully done. And it's not, it's not disgusting and it's not wrong. It's, it's, it's good. Okay, so people come in, they take their seat, they're guaranteed to laugh. Can you make that promise? Absolutely, yes. without question. All right, and if people want to find out more information about Entertainment Inc. or this show, where, uh, where, where can they go? Well, they, we have a Facebook page. Um, just uh, look for Entertainment Inc. Um, or uh, www.entertainmentinc.org. And Inc., um, uh, it's not .com, be sure it's org. So, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, best of luck. Break a leg Thursday night. Thank you. And the five nights to follow that, correct? Yes. All right. Well, uh, signing off, I'm Williston Herald Managing Editor Matt Hickman, and you are? J.C. Labar. I am April Key. And you stay classy, Williston. <laughs>